my loves, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Carmen Estella, and today we're doing another mukbang. Woo! Yay! I'm so, so sorry guys, I have been so busy. We have painted our master bedroom that has a bathroom, the master bathroom connected, and our uh, wash um, room. So we, I literally have not had any time to record. I kept trying to do like the casual mukbangs, but I was looking like a hot mess and I didn't want you guys seeing me like that. Today, you guys, I am so excited. I have a story time and I'm guessing by this video's uh, name, you guys are wondering um, if it's true if I am pregnant. Um, I'm going to tell you guys that Tommy and I are happily, happily um, not pregnant. <laughs> it is April Fool's Day today. I hope I can get this video out. Um, it's just an April Fool's joke, guys, and I'm sorry for the clickbait. Um, today, what I got going on here is a um, Korean, Japanese, whole schmill thing going on, y'all. Um, I'm so excited to try these bowls. I see them all the time. Um, I also got uh, this, the black bowl, and I don't know the difference. This is the sheen bowl. So we are going to do that. I got some spring rolls. I got some sushi. Hold on, let me. I've got some sushi, I got these bowls, I got these little uh, snacks that I'm gonna try out. Um, I've got this drink I've never tried before, but we're gonna try it. And um, we got some sriracha, we got some chicken pot stickers. So anyways, I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful week so far. Uh, let's dig in. Um, Tommy's in the garage working on some stuff in the garage with Cyrus, so if you guys hear him in the background, don't be. Just the a, a Roman, uh, ramen bowl. Let's add some sriracha. Okay, let's dig in. I also have a story time. I think I said that already. I got a chicken pot sticker. Mm. Yeah. Let me take a few bites and then we'll get into talking. I hope you guys are doing a good, having a good time um, doing self, self quarantining. Um, I don't even know if that's a word, y'all, but I'm going to use it. I've been using it a lot. Just here, self-quarantining. <laughs> My story time today is going to be when I visited um, Taiwan and, Jap and Japan. I thought it would go, it would be a perfect theme for this. Um, so let's get into it. So when I went, um, I was, twenty two, twenty three. 23. So about six, seven years ago. Um, y'all, it was a beautiful experience. Um, I was blessed. I had met someone, um, he worked for a really large company and he was blessed to um, travel the world. So he had invited me. He asked me if I wanted to go to um, Taiwan. It's sweet chili sauce for that. He, uh, so then I said yes, and by then we had been talking for a while. 
and I, I had said yes and um, at first I was very very nervous um, I've never been like anywhere on in that region There's carrots, cucumber. Mm. I had never been anywhere around there, so I was really, really excited. We went for a week. You guys the people there so nice the people are so nice um they were so like into pleasing you um we went to like a hot springs we got massages we were like in the mountains area so like we got like real like we were in crazy paths like driving paths to get there um, the flight was pretty long. Thank goodness I was in first, uh, I was on first class. So y'all, if you go, if you can do the first, uh, first class, cause it's a long flight. Uh, I believe it was like 18 hours or something like that. Mm. Anyway, so, um, when we first got there, we stayed in the Airbnb um, it was really, really tiny, y'all. The Airbnb was tiny. Mm. Like, literally, I had to duck. I had to duck down to get into my Airbnb and everything with the, uh, the beds were on the floor and everything. And that was just because I wanted to experience, like, how they lived. And, uh... I thought it was my choice. I don't want y'all to think like, mm, you're out there sleeping on the floor. Never have a napkin. So, okay. Mmm. I like lychee martini, so I thought I would try this. It's really sweet, but it really tastes like a lychee martini, except no vodka. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So, anyways, so then... Don't worry about it. So, anyways, our first night there... I think we order, we order something and then um, we slept because we got there, we got there late and the time difference, you know, all that flying. So we just um, relaxed, chilled around, ordered takeout, uh, got my bags. We got settled in. And the next day, we went up to the mountains, like I, like I said earlier. Um, we went up to the mountains, and, like, it was so beautiful. It was so, like, inspiring. It was just, oh, my gosh, guys. Like, I really, really got into my faith afterwards because they're, like, they, they're praising their God and... Um, These women were like in robes, like that's how they lived. Like it was real Taiwan right there. Like, uh, I bought so much stuff to bring home for my family. So um, we ended up going on like a boat ride and 
uh, going to by a river and oh my gosh guys just so beautiful this is all in Taiwan okay so we ate crazy stuff I ate like eel and stuff really really good Fresh tuna. Mm. I had fresh tuna before, so we had fresh tuna. Um, like literally, they were cutting it up in front of you. I mean, I know like the Japanese and stuff, fresh ones here. I'm sure the fancy ones do, but that was my first time, you know, at the time. I was a young girl, so we did that. Um, Dang, I'm struggling. Mm. You guys, just an amazing experience. Seven days of, I don't know, it's a hot springs. We went to a really, we stayed one night at a really, really nice hotel, fancy hotel, and I think it was like a Hilton. Mm. I think it was like a Hilton hotel and we got massages and we got a real like real tight tight massage and then we got a um, one just at the hotel because we stayed one night there um and then okay so it was time for us to go and he had to go back to work and he has told me he said do you want to go spend um I think it was two days in Japan because it's on the way home so, you know, you, you'll, um, you're going to stop there anyways. I said yes, but I was scared to death, guys. Like, I'm like, what am I going to do? Like, back then, there, I don't recall there being, like, the um, app that tells you how to speak or what to say to them or, you know what I mean? Like, they do now. And I didn't have service out there. Mm. Okay, so uh, our last day there, he asked me this, and I said, okay, so he caught, he got my flight for a few days later, rather than, um, rather than that day, so I went to Japan, um, oh my gosh, everyone was looking at me, at this time I had blonde hair. Everyone was looking at me. Oh, and in Taiwan, I met a beautiful, beautiful girl. Her name is Linda. I'm still friends with her on Facebook. I don't know if she watches my videos. But I know Linda. Do not get at me. I know that this is not like real Korean stuff. I know it's not. But, um, yes, so she did my hair. Her and, um, like, I think that they did, like, like the professionals. It wasn't like that they were learning or in a class or nothing. But it was, like, the real, like, the professional. And then she'd be his helper. And she was the sweetest girl, so we did my hair there. That took a whole day because I was like dark like this, and then I went to dark. I mean, blonde. So that took a whole day. How did I forget that? Mm. Fast forward to when I went to Japan, people thought I was like a celebrity. They're like, who is that? Who is that? Um, I just remember being stared at. Um, I seen the um, the girls with the white faces and the robes. Yep, they'd be walking around. Um, I went shopping because they have beautiful, beautiful malls and stuff. They had beautiful malls, so I went shopping. Um, I ate the best sushi. Um, I ate the best sushi, y'all. I didn't do much in Japan because I was by myself. 
And I didn't want to, um, I mean, there's not, I couldn't speak much or, you know what I mean, like, but I need to get food and go to shopping, so I did those two things. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. One more bite. This is so good. I'm gonna leave the other ones for um, Sebastian. Mm, right up my alley. And they're tiny, so they're really perfect for whatever. Mm. So Japan was more chill because I was by myself, like I said, and I couldn't go out and do the stuff that I wanted to do. But I would love to go back um, one day. Um, best thing, almost done. Oh, you better leave? Yeah. Okay. Here. Hey, They're like little Asian things. I have one that you don't You did? Oh, yeah. yeah. Where are you going? To the park. Y'all supposed to be self quarantining. I don't know. Okay. I don't get corona. You don't get the Rona. Yeah, I'll let, he's out there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. Uh, thank you so much for uh, my new subscribers. Welcome. Thank you. And I love my subscribers that I already have now. Um, my numbers are going up, so I'm super excited about that. Um, and I'm sorry that I missed you guys for a little bit. Uh, like I said, I was fixing up the house and having the baby. And, you know, it's just, it gets a little hard. But... I am here. I am uh, back and I love you guys. Thank you so much. Please take care. Give your, all your friends and family a hug and a kiss from me. Uh, and we are going to come out of this stronger than ever. All right. Take care, guys. Bye.